With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. Our question is given as uh, which is divided into six parts. So we can analyze one part by one. So what is the first question? Part A asked, what is what happens if a bar magnet is cut into two pieces? First one is transverse to its length and along its length. So first of all, we can analyze what is given in the question. In the question A, a bar magnet is cut into two uh, different mode. That is, let this be the bar magnet. And when one is, uh, this be the north pole and south pole. When it, one is, the first case is mentioned, when it is cut transverse. That is, the length of the bar magnet is divided into half. So, length become half. So, what happened to magnetic moment? The new magnetic moment M dash become half of the initial magnetic moment. Okay. What about the second case? Second case is uh, said, uh, it is cut along its length. So, let the bar magnet is placed same direction. And uh, this be the north pole and south pole. And this be cut along its length. So, what happened is that here, pole strength is divided. Pole strength become half. So, what happens to the magnetic moment? The new magnetic moment become half of the original magnetic moment because pole strength become half. So, this is answer for the first question. What is the second one? What happens if an iron bar magnet is melted? Does it retain its magnetism? Okay, we can analyze what is given. It is asked what happens when we melt an iron bar. Uh, so, iron bar is a subject object which is uh, which can be magnetized. So, what happens is that iron bar, iron bar retains magnetism for a short time. Retains magnetism for short time. Okay, for short time. So, when we melt, what happens? Temperature increases. If temperature, applied temperature is greater than Curie temperature, what happens is that it loses its magnetism nature. So, this happens to iron bar when it is uh, melted. That is, when we increase the temperature uh, more than the Curie temperature, it loses its magnetism. Okay. What is uh, question C? A magnetized needle in a uniform magnetic field experiences a torque but no net force. However, an iron nail near a bar magnet experiences a force of attraction in addition to torque. Explain. So, this question is very much familiar for us. So, first of all, I am uh, just uh, drawing in a rough way that uh, this is a magnetic field is applied which is uniform and here we placed a bar needle so what happened is that the force on this direction and the force is opposite directions of net force is zero but it experiences a torque so it experiences a torque so what happens uh, if we use addition to that if we use an iron nail Iron nail is a magnetic material so what happens is that when an iron nail is placed in magnetic field the magnetic dipole, magnetic dipole inside the iron nail, inside the iron nail, uh, iron nail align in the direction of magnetic field. Iron in align in the direction of magnetic field. So what happens is that there come uh, net forces, there comes a net force in addition to torque. So, there is a torque also available, there is force also available when we place a iron nail. Okay, so what happens is that when we place a magnetized needle, what happens is that there is no net force, only torque. But if we place an iron nail, what happens is that iron nail is a magnetic material. So, when we place that in a magnetic field, what happens is that the dipole inside that iron nail aligns in the direction of the applied magnetic field. So, the, uh, the it exerts an additional force. Also. Okay, so what is uh, question D asked? Uh, must every magnetic field configure configuration have a north pole and a south pole? What about the field due to toroid? Uh, the answer is actually um, it is not uh, necessary that uh, both the poles exist. North pole and south pole exist. So north pole and south pole exist due to net the due to the presence of net magnetic moment okay 
but in the case of a toroid uh, in the case of toroid and a long straight conductor the net magnetic moment is equal to zero net magnetic moment is equal to zero so there uh, there is no pole formation in such cases no pole formation in such cases okay next one we can analyze next, next question e can you think magnetic field configuration with three poles actually the answer is no we can't um, sorry the actually the answer is no because uh, but in some cases special cases that when uh, like poles like poles means not an of them hmm? like poles are uh, mm, you can say that they are glued together hmm? glued together uh, this uh, this can happen but actually the magnetic field configuration doesn't have three poles because magnetic all the magnetic field exists with a pair north and south pole okay then what about the question f two identical looking iron bar a and b are given one of which is definitely known to be magnetized how would one ascertain whether or not both are magnetized? If only one is magnetized, how does one ascertain which one using use nothing else than bar magnets A bars A and B? So it is advised that in question F it is suggested that two, two bars are given A and B. Okay, so when it is placed in a magnetic field, uh, both can be magnetized only, one can be magnetized. So, when we bring both end closer together, what happens that if the repulsive force, repulsive force comes, repulsive force comes, we can assume that both are magnetized. Repulsive force come, both are magnetized. Okay. So when this uh, magnetized bar, when we place together uh, in the manner that their different ends of the bar come closer, what happens if the repulsive, repulsive force exists between them, we can say that both the uh, bars are magnetized. Okay, then otherwise if, uh, if it is attractive, then we can say one of them is not magnetized. If it is attractive, we can say that one of them one of them is not magnetized okay magnetized and uh, which one uh, how to identify a or b if a is magnetized and place b and bring a near to the center of the b if there is no force exerts between them then we can say b is magnetized okay so this is a method by using only these two magnet we can find which one is magnetized or both are magnetized or not okay for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today